Shalom Israel, Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Hashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word and all to the sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land where it goes. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. So this is a, this is a little short epistle here. Um, it's entitled, To Them That Repent, He Granted Them Return, right? Uh, man, I've been trying to do this epistle all day long, brothers and sisters. So, hey man, just bear with me. So I'm, we're going we're gonna, to... Um, we're gonna go get. We're gonna get right into it, okay? Number one. Uh, so we're gonna go to the book of Luke, chapter fourteen, verse twenty-three. Should we start at twenty-three? Let's start at. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. So lucky, bro. Let, I want to start at, at um, Mark chapter one, verse uh, one, verse fourteen. Now after that John was put in prison, Yahweh came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of Yahweh right? And he said, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of Yahweh is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel, right? The time is fulfilled, you know. Um, that it was around that time that Yahweh came to be that, that lamb for the children of Israel, you know, so we could be covered with the blood and inherit the kingdom of heaven. The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of Yahweh Shemashah is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. Just believe the gospel, bro. You know, uh, uh, and be doers of the word, and not hearers only. Believe the gospel. Believe the gospel. Believe the gospel. Right? Now we're going to go to the book of Luke. Chapter 14, verse 23. Luke chapter 14, verse 23. And Yahweh Shemashah said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. Right? Go out there to the children of Israel, and compel them, you know, to come in. Go out there and preach this word to the 144, hopefully elect, and one third of Israel, the ones that's going to hear, believe, and repent. Right? And so we're coming, you know, preaching this word on the four corners of the earth as Yahweh Shemashah commanded, okay? Starting with the elders, apostle Great Millstone, and all the other brothers on down there, umbrella, bro. And I got a little small testimony I want to bring out real quick, also, as well. Now, this is the book of John, chapter um, 1. Hold on, John. Hold on. Chapter 14, verse 15. Okay. Yahweh Bashim Ashah say, If ye love me, keep my commandments, right? John chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Right, and we understand that, you know, when you repent with your whole heart, receive that gift of the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth whom the world can receive. You know, but you have to repent with your whole heart. And what, what do you have about Shemashah say? If ye love me, keep my commandments. Right, and thus, uh, the title of this epistle you know to those that repent he granted them return bro to those that repent repent with their whole heart he granted them return I want y'all to uh, keep this in mind because this is gonna go into the little testimony I got uh, I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever even a spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seed him not neither knoweth him but ye know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Now we understand Yahweh Shemashah said, I chose you, you did not choose me. I want to go to um, Wisdom of Solomon real quick, okay? In the Apocrypha. Chapter 1, verse 4. For into a malicious soul 
wisdom shall not enter, right? Nor dwell in the body that is subject to unto sin, okay? For the Holy Spirit of discipline, the Holy Spirit of discipline, the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee the seat and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. Now, Big Brother Elder did make an epistle about this just the other day. Um, but hey, this is, a, this is a point right here, man. Because you got a lot of Israelites. We were there too. When you, when you first hear about the, about, you know, the children of Israel are, you know, are the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians that we've been lied to in this wicked ass kingdom. You get excited, right? And you, uh, it depends on your lot. Some brothers are fortunate to go, you know, to have heard the word from Great Millstone and they, they set, they in there. Some of us go the long way around. Well, you know, we hear about the truth. Um, you start watching all the other camps and all that stuff. You know, we, we talk about it all the time. But we bring, bring, this, we bring this out for, for a reason, as, all, as always. Because it's the spirit of Yahweh Shem to the To the ones that who may just be coming into the truth. The ones who may have just, just got in there, the, the feet still getting wet, you know. And to even us that have been in the truth for a while. Um, you know, you come in, you, you see all the camps, all the different, so many camps, bro. But you got to understand, Great Millstone has that 100% truth. You know, the elders, apostles, Great Millstone, all the other brothers on down their umbrella, been constantly saying they got the 100% truth. They got the 100% truth. They got the 100% truth, right? And now we understand that there's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. We understand that Yahweh Shemashi telling us to fulfill ye my joy, which you all speak. To, I wish we all speak the same thing. Come under one accord, right? Gather yourselves together. All these things that we we've been bringing out, right? So I want. I got. I got a few. I got some things right here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show and use. Okay. Um, We want to get this scripture. We're going to read this one more time. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 4. For until a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter. Okay? Keep that in mind. Nor dwell in a body that is subject unto sin. Keep that in mind. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit. You know, all these damn lies and shit. When you, when you, what, well, actually, how about Shema Shah say what? Be doers of the word and not hears only deceiving your own selves, right? You know, uh, and, and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness come in. Right? Because when you, when you have tasted of this truth, man. Now how about Shema Shai say in the book of Proverbs? Chapter 3, verse 3. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Okay, don't let it get away. This is that mercy period. This is the time that the gates of mercy are open. Don't let them forsake thee because of your lust of the flesh, because of your pride, uh, because of your love for the world, because your stiff neckness. You know, and of course, this is it's for the 144, hopefully, like the 130 of Israel. You already understand it, two thirds. It's not for them. They're blinded, period. Okay? Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them around thy neck, write them upon the table of thy heart. Truth. Who's got the truth? The 100% truth? Starting with the Elder Apostle Great Millstone. It, 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 you know, as you can see, we've been rebuking all these other camps. You know, they've been, you know, from, from the time I came in, they've been rebuking all these other camps, bro. From, from do, for doing one thing or another, you know. So, hey, what does that tell you? It goes along with scripture. Rebuke them sharply so they be sound in the faith. You know, trying to warn them, trying to show them some brotherly love. Hey, y'all, y'all going off. You, you better watch out. You get in some serious trouble for that. You know, you're going to get destroyed for that. Right? So we're going to the book of Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha. Chapter 17, verse 24, and thus the title of this epistle. But unto them that repent, right? Now we understand coming back with your whole heart, man. Okay, once again, you hear you're Israelite. Okay, that's good. 
Yeah, you go, you go all crazy with the fringe t-shirts and stuff. You go all crazy with the armbands for a while, you know. Check it out. Ecclesiastes chapter 17, verse 24. But unto them that repent, he granted them return and comforted those that failed in patience. So you're going to be, when you come into the truth, when you come back, understand that, hey, we've been lied to in this society. This is not our rest. It's a, so much to take in, right? Um, that 100% that truth, that this is not for everybody. Even uh, the election have obtained it, but the rest are blinded. Romans 11 and 7. A lot of people have a hard time, you know, being ashamed. They're ashamed of, of, the, of what's, what's written in the scriptures, but you cannot be ashamed. This is the creator of the universe. He declared the end from the beginning. Okay, this is uh, truth, mercy. Don't let truth and mercy forsake thee. This is the way it is. What does it say? Declaring the end from the beginning. Saying, my counsel shall, shall stand and I'll do all my pleasure. This is what the Lord, he said, his ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than his thoughts. He knows what he's doing. So you're either going to go with, you're going to be with Yahweh Shemashah or you're not going to be with him. Okay? So, but unto them that repent, okay, the 144, hopefully like the one third of Israel, because he, the one that gave them the spirit to come back, man. They're predestined from the foundation of the earth. Are you one of them? Because it's, 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 it's time, man. This is some, uh, there's some serious business going on around here. But until they, they repent, he granted them return and comforted those that failed in patience. Because, you know, we understand, hey, a righteous man falls down seven times, but he get back up. We, he, we understand that, you know, uh, we come into the understanding, um, you know, we're a child. We're just children. We're babes on the milk. We, we, this takes a long time to get, get understanding of this. You know, it's a lot of trial and error, but it's, it's your heart. Yahweh Hashem Hashad knows your heart, bro. There's no in between. There's no you can't be com you can't come in here thinking uh, you can do some and you know half and half. There's a point where you got to go all in when you feel the gravity of the situation. We're talking about the second death over here. We're talking about Esau Edom over here. The sword of Yahweh Shemasha. We're talking about some some serious calamities that's about to come down the pipe over here. Okay? We're talking about starving to death, bro. We're talking about teeth of wild beasts over here. We're talking about the love of Yahweh Shemashai who's called you out of darkness in his marvelous light. You know? The mercy. Let not truth and mercy forsake thee. It says, return unto Yahweh Shemashai and forsake thy sins, bro. Be like, okay. And now we're coming, we're gonna we're about to get to the to the testimony, man. Forsake thy sins, make thy prayer before his face and offend less. Okay, they, these words mean something. That's why you have Hashem Hashem say, be doers of the word and not hears only. Deceiving your own selves. Deceiving your own selves, bro. Deceiving your own selves. You, you're, spo you're supposed to be Israelites, but you're still constantly fucking off. Bullshitting around. Thinking this is just a game. Watching these other camps with their fucked up false doctrines, bro. And loving it. Okay? Turn again, verse 26, turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity, which is sin upon sin upon sin. Because you, you haven't really repented. Have you repented with your whole heart? Because you, you got to, you know, confess with that mouth. Step out there. Hey, I, Lord, I, I did this. I done did this. I done done that. And when you, when you do that, you're going to try to not do that again. Okay? Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity, which is sin upon sin upon sin upon sin. For he will lead thee, okay, and this is the point right here. He will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health and hate that abomination vehemently. Because once, wherewithal shall a young man clean his way? Once you start to get cleaned up, you're going to hate these abominations. You're going to hate that old man. You're going to be like, fuck, man. Damn. You know, I was, hell, oh, wow. Bro, so this, this brings us now to uh, to what I got right here, bro. Yeah. See, so when I first came into the truth, like most brothers, you know, you hear, you see all these other camps and everything. Uh, okay, yeah, you see all these other camps and everything. And we're going to go get a scripture real quick, too. And you, you know, you're in it. You're in this, this Israelite thing.
You end this Israelite thing. Hold on. You're in this Israelite thing, and you're, you know, you're watching the other, the other camps. You know, they're cutting people and other things. It's very exciting. But the strips say, um, you know, when you, if you, if, you know, he, Yahabashim Asha, he's the one that chose us. So if you're part of that chosen number, he's going to call you out of that all the way. He's going to lead you out of, out of that darkness into this marvelous light. You, and for me, it was when I, Yahabashim Asha led me to the Elder Apostle Great Millstone. And I started watching the uh, the videos, and I learned the name. I remember I remember so clearly uh, learning the name of Yahweh Hashem. I started calling on those names, bro. Okay, a lot of things changed at that time because before that time, I was I was you know not preaching the word or nothing. I was just watching the videos. I was still smoking cigarettes. I was still I was man. I was doing some wicked shit. I was still just out there, but I was an Israelite. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? I was an Israelite. Yeah. Friends t-shirts, friends shirts and shit. All my, everything's fringed. But I was just out there, man. No spirit, no, nothing spiritual. But I was, you know, uh, I want to get this scripture real quick. John chapter 7, verse 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water, right? So I, I, I you know, man, I believed in Yahweh Shemashah, bro. This is like a testimony. I don't know. Just like I said, you know, we've been trying to do this epistle all day long, but it wasn't, it wasn't like this. It wasn't supposed to be a testimony, you know. Um, but anyway, we're here. This, you know, man's going to the Lord, bro. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So, man, I, I couldn't help it. I believed in Yahweh Hashem Hashem, so I started to make these, these little, you know, little papers. And I spent a lot of money on them, too, man. I would go get them Xerox photocopied and stuff, and I was hanging them on all telephone poles. Like, this is a lot of them out here. This is just a few. Now, this is the, almost the end. Some kind of way, I still got them after, after these years. Uh, you know, they're kind of cool. This one got, you know, Deuteronomy 28:45 information. You know, Deuteronomy 28, verse 68, like, hey, wake up. It's like equivalent to going to the grocery store and talking to everybody about the Hebrew Israelites. But that's not the way it should be. You know, this, okay. Oh, yeah, the point I want to make, this is equivalent to IUIC, I -U -I -C, that's what they're doing now. And, uh... One body in your house shot, going around knocking on fucking doors and shit, you know. Um, I, I see handing out flyers, but Yahweh Shema, that's it, they're in their lot. They're doing that because of the Spirit. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water, right? But over here, you know, under the, under the banner, you know, of the elders of Great Millstone, you know, following that doctrine and cleaving unto Jacob, you know. Uh, which is prophecy. The Elder Apostle Tahar declared that we produce videos daily, right? That, that you know, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water because you got to get it out, bro, right? Unless you're going to be doing this. Yeah, how about Shema Shah say, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, you know, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering, right? Not uh, handing out flyers and going around knocking on damn doors and shit, right? So you have about Shemashai, what? What do you see? He called me out of darkness, you know. He led me out of that darkness into this marvelous light, right? And got, you know, clean, cleaned us, you know, cleaned us up with this washing of the word, right? I want to show y'all this one though. This one's ridiculous. This is how ridiculous it got, bro. Instead of you know coming to the hundred percent truth, you know, humbling down. Repenting with that whole heart, begging Yahweh Shemasha for mercy, asking the Lord to show you, to guide you, to clean you up. You're going to stay over there fucking around. You know, and you're going to be destroyed without remedy. Because Yahweh Shemasha said, he declared that uh, he was going to punish the, all the children in strange apparels when he come back. People over here, um, we're going to get the scripture. Um, 
with these strange women. And that's, what, that's what's going on over there with these other camps, bro. With these false doctrines, when they're not preaching you the 100% truth. How can you get, how, how, how with all, how with all shall a young man clean his way? By taking heed to every word, not some of the words, not a little bit of the word, to every word of Yahweh Shemashah. And that's, you know, and that's the body, what the body's doing. All brothers, Yahweh Shemashah's got all the brothers, you know, with their gifts, with their talents, bringing out different epistles daily. You know, with news articles, um, current events, fil filtering them through the scriptures. You know, um, talking about the MARK, of course, one of the biggest prophecies, you know, and of course, World War III, one of the biggest prophecies to be right before Yahweh Shemashah -Sha cracked those clouds. You know, this is the one I want to show y'all. So, um, this is a, a series of, of uh, once again, zero, co zero, photo, zero copy that I had on, on each telephone pole all the way going to town. What does it say? It says something about, uh, I'm just going to read it. I'm going to read it. They're supposed to go in, in, in uh, they're supposed to go in line, like, uh, do I have numbers on the back of them? It's supposed to say something about, hey, repent for the Lord of Lords, Alpha and Omega, the God Almighty, King of Kings. See, here's another one, Lord of Lords, you know, and His Son, uh... It's, they're out of they're out of order. Hold on. You know, the time Babylon lies. You know, repent now. Maybe I can use these uh, actually at camp <laughs> since I got them. <laughs> you know, uh, but anyway, that's how. That, hey man, that's 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 what that's the difference between. Um, that's the difference of uh, coming into the 100% truth, you know, watching the videos of Elder Apostle Great Millstone with the 100% truth, uh, receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit, being baptized with the Word, uh, or, you know, being half, you know, half kind of out, outside the body, just doing, just doing it, just doing something, you know, because uh, Yahweh Shem HaShem once again said, preach the Word, be in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, Resort with all long suffering, you know, uh, come and be, you know, be a part of the body of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Uh, and of course, you know, of course, we understand that um, many are called, but few are chosen. But this, once again, warning the children of Israel to repent to the one true living God. Repent, repent with your whole heart, bro. All right. Uh, I wanted to get something else real quick before we, because we're about to close it out. It wasn't supposed to be a long epistle, and I got another little, sh another little. The, the main uh, picture I wanted to show y'all. This is the book of uh, Revelation chapter 14, verse 3. And they sung as it were a new song. Okay? It's, it's one song. Okay? One song, my man. Before the throne and before the four beasts and, and the elders. No man could learn that song. No man could learn that song. You might sound like you got the song. It may be very close. You know how... Uh, I think I just I just saw what did I just saw? Oh, I don't know how I ran across this, but what's that what's that guy's name? Bruno Mars is being sued, uh, not once but twice for don't uh, don't believe me, just watch, and for another song that he supposedly had used, um, you know, got the sample or something from somebody else. Yeah, so. He's getting, and he, you know, I think at the end he's gonna just make 17% of the song or something like that. But anyway, you know, it could be almost a song, but it's not quite the song, okay? And they sung as it were a new song before the throne, before the four beasts and, and the elders. No man could learn that song, but the 144,000, okay, which were redeemed from the earth, okay? These are they which were not defiled with women. There, there we go right there. Okay, so uh, we understand that these women are to be different doctrines and philosophies. 
because there's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. So these are they that were not defiled with women. Ain't no in-between, ain't no lukewarm. You either have the hundreds in truth or you don't have it, bro. That's why it's very important that you repent with your whole heart. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of Yahweh Hashem Hashem. When you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again. If you very, if you, you know, I wanted to, I was gonna name this uh, epistle. I actually, the one that I did earlier is right over there on the computer. But I'm not, I'm not gonna load it up. I, something's, it's just not right, bro. The spirit of Yahweh Hashem Hashem, you know. It was called, um, I didn't even like the title really. It was called, uh, If I, uh, oh, don't know much, but I know I love the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, you know? Because it goes into, if you love me, keep my commandments, you know? Uh, and we know we're trying with the, for the best of our abilities. But coming back to Revelation chapter 14, verse 4. These are they which were not defiled with women, my man, okay? For they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. The Lamb. What do Yahweh Shemashai say? My sheep hear my voice and they follow me. They say another, another voice they will not follow. Roughly paraphrasing. Okay? These are they which follow the Lamb wheresoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, bro. Holy, separate, special. We can't, you know, the following out a multitude to do evil. If you see somebody getting rebuked, hey, can two walk together unless they be agreed? Hey, be unequally yoked with non-believers. Hey, be doers of the word and not hearers only. Why are they getting rebuked? Did they repent from their rebuke? You know, unless you're with them, you know, you're on the side of them, you're like defending them. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Because it's evil to, uh, to uh, have guile in your mouth. It's wicked, bro. You know? These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto you. How about Shemasha? And in their mouth was found no guile. For they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh Hashem Hashem. And that's what we want to be, my man. Hoping and praying to be a part of that 144 elect number right here. You know what I'm talking about, brothers and sisters? You know what I'm talking about, brothers and sisters? Salaki. So, uh, I think, uh, you know, like I said, I didn't want it to be a long epistle. I was hope hopefully this edifying. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I wanted to bring up that last picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had to take a picture of this because it's actually... A picture that I use for camp. It's the last one that I have, and I'm just gonna, you know, put it up here. You, you'll be able to see it. I'll put it up in front of the screen in post production. But look, this is the a picture that I drew. One of them other pictures that I put on on telephone poles. But I like this one so much that I put all of them up. I, mean, I didn't I didn't have enough for to have any left over. Either I can't find any. But it's got the children of Israel. I, I now the spiritual thing about this is that. This is when I first came, I was just in, just, you know, a couple of toes in the truth, bro. But if you look on the bottom of the, uh, what they're standing on, there's fire coming out of it because they're coming up hither, you know. They're in a chariot, my man. Uh, that's spiritual, you know. It, it really is. Uh, and, uh. Let's see, so you see I got them all, all the children of Israel looking different from all nations because we were scattered among all nations. So we look like different nations, right? I got Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be the special people unto himself above all the people that are upon the face of the earth, right? Now the thing about this I want, want to point out is over to the right, over to the right, it says more info on YouTube. If you can look closely, I had the name IUIC there, bro. But I crossed it out and put GMS there, bro. That's right, my man. All praises to you, how about you, my child? He called us out of darkness into this marvelous light. He led us. Let's look, hey, we're gonna close it out with uh, Ecclesiastic one more time, man, okay? Hopefully this was edifying, brothers and sisters. And you know, this warning out one more time, of course, we, we're here to uh, speak against this wicked world. You know, Jeremiah chapter 28 and 8 against a uh, wicked root. You know, let's go get it real quick since we're here, since we spoke about it. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries, 
against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, man. We're preaching against this place because Yahweh Hashem is telling us not to love the world. He told us not to be a part of this world. You know, that includes not getting no 501c3s. That includes knowing who your enemies are and having no dealings with them. Make no covenant with the heathen, bro. It's time to be separate and holy for real, my man. We see who these devils are, bro. And, it, you know, it, the scripture tells you to never trust your, your enemy, bro. This is some serious business right here. This is this ain't no this ain't no play play. And you have about Shemashah once again has given us these laws and commandments, the book the in its entirety to keep us safe. You know, on the other epistle I mentioned, um, you know, just like you would tell a child to get home before, uh, you know, a certain time of night. And the reason why is to keep them safe. You don't want nothing to happen to them. You you tell them to obey the rules of your house to keep them safe, so nothing happens to them. To obey the things that you've taught them to keep them safe so nothing happens to them. You know, Yahweh Shem Hashai has told us all these things that's written in the, in the scriptures for us. The words of Yahweh Shem Hashai are for us. You know? He's given his word unto Jacob. He's not dealt so with any nation. Okay? And for their judgment, they have not known them. Okay? So look, once again, closing it out with Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 17, verse 24. But unto them that repent, he granted them return, and comforted those that failed in patience. Return unto Yahweh Shah and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. That's right, man. You can't be half assing it or straddling the fence because it's time now. This is the time to wholeheartedly repent to the one true living God. Confess your sins. Beg. Yeah. Beg Yahweh Shemashah for mercy, bro. Ask him, you know, I, I beg you, how about Shemasha all the time to please allow me to be part of that 144 elect of Israel, bro? I ain't lying, man. Because what did he say? You know, what if you ask him my name? Whatever you ask him my name, I will give it to you. You know, I will give it to you. And those are the things I'm asking for. Mercy. The sheer mercies of David, right? Doesn't that make sense? He says, seek ye face first the kingdom of heaven, and all these things will be added to you, bro. Yeah, just give it all up. Understanding how about Shema is all powerful. He's the one that make it poor and make it rich. You know, you're going to be okay, man. And then we're talking about the kingdom of heaven. Something that's about to come. But unto them that repent, he granted them return and comforted those that felt impatient. Return unto you, how about Shema Shai, and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity. For he will lead thee out of darkness, bro. Yeah, all them other camps that's teaching them lies and stuff. You start praying to Yahweh Shem Hashem with that whole heart. Repent to him. You're gonna start. He, 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 if it be His will to give you that Holy Spirit, you're gonna you're gonna start saying, "What the fuck are they talking about? How? Why in the fuck was I in here? Let me get the fuck out of here." Yeah, the same with these funky ass churches and all these other philosophies and doctrines that this world pr uh, promotes, man. All this damn TikTok and all this damn shit all over the place. Of course, you know, not trying to be over-righteous and stuff. We're going to, you know, hey, psh, what can you do, bro? But you can not lean on your own understanding. Hmm? You can turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity, which is sin upon sin upon sin. For he will lead thee out of darkness into this marvelous light and hate that abomination vehemently. And that's all the things that's wicked in this damn world. The only good thing here is this word right here, bro. So with that, hopefully this is edifying. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb, word of God. Shalom Israel. Shalom.